So a popular feature in my 5.8 series was having flash messages. And a number of people have requested these, so I'm just going to show you how to do it again. So I'm just going to create the views for our flash messages now. So underneath the root of the project, we're going to come down to resources, views. And inside of views, I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this partials. Now you can call this whatever you like, but this is a, a naming convention that stuck with me since the Ruby on Rails days. So I'm just going to name it partials. And then inside of partials, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this alerts.blade.php. And now inside of this, we just need to build up our alerts. So as we're already including bootstrap in, I'm just going to use the bootstrap alerts for the styling. So if we just come down here, um, let's start with the success one. So I'm just going to copy this HTML. And now over in our blade file, what we're going to do is we're going to flash the message to the session. So the first thing we need to do is just check if the session has a flash message. So we can just do a blade directive of if, and then we can just say if session and um, we'll call this one success and then just close off this if block and then inside of this if block i'm just going to paste that alert and then inside of here obviously we want to display the contents of that session so we can open up our curly braces and then we can do session success so this will now check in the session whether there's a variable called success and then if there is the alert will display now obviously we need to include this partial into our main template so it shows everywhere so over in our resources views, I'm going to open up our layouts and open up app.blade.php. And then inside this file, down here, before we yield the content out, we're just going to include our partial. So we can do at include, and then we want to include from our partials folder the alerts file. So this won't quite look right at the moment. Um, we need to make a change to where we are building our container. Well, let's just give this a try for now anyway. So under app HTTP, come down to controllers and open up our home controller. And then in the index method, let's just pass in our request object. And then on our request object, we can call session. And then we can say flash. And what flash does is it puts something into a session for one request only, and then it disappears. The first thing we need to do is pass in the key for the session and we call this one success. And then we just need to give it a message. Uh, let's just say testing success flash message. Now let's refresh our page. You can see now our flash test message shows. But you can see it's the full width of the application. So let's fix that. So over here for our include and our yield, let's put a new div here with a class of container. And then over in resources views, we come down to our home.blade.php and then we can get rid of this container here because we have it in our parent template now. Now let's give this page a refresh. Like you can see now that looks much better. It's sitting in the grid of the application. So I'm just going to build out a few more here. So over in the bootstrap, um, let's get the warning and the danger as well. So back in our alerts, let's do a few more if blocks so we can do if session has warning and if the session has, we'll call this one error. And then just fill that inside. So we're gonna do the danger class in here. And obviously let's give it this message and do session with the error. And then let's grab this warning notification box here. And we'll do this obviously in warning. And again, let's just put our warning text in here. And then we're getting that from the session with a warning key. So now over in our home control, let's just test this. So I'm going to copy this line down twice. Uh, let's do a warning and let's do an error. So testing warning and testing error. Let's give this a refresh. And you can see now we have our notifications coming through. That's perfect. So now we can just get rid of these now because we don't really need them here. And let's build it into our application to give users feedback. So we come over to app again, HTTP. Um, let's go under admin and go to our users controller. Um, and then we'll come down to our update method. Uh, then after the user's been saved, let's create a flash message letting the user know that they've been saved. So we can do here, we can do the request. And again, it's the same as how we did it in our test. We do session 
and to our session we want to flash and we want to flash with success and then we can just say user has been updated so what we could do here we could do an if block around the save um, so then if it saves we send up success and if it doesn't we could send uh, an error so let's put that in place so we'll just grab here and we're just going to put this into an if block so if the user has been saved we will do a success flash message and then we just do an else here um, and then we'll copy that line again again and instead of success we'll send an error and we could say there was an error updating the user we could be a little bit more fancy here and actually put the user's name into the message so let's do that now so we can just say user name and then obviously append that on we can get rid of this here now so give the user's name has been updated so let's give this a try so now we're logged in as admin user we come to user management and let's edit our generic user let's just change their name to let's say Dave and I'm just going to update and you can see now we get our flash message Dave has been updated and now when we refresh the page the flash message has gone and that's because the flash message only puts something into the session once and then on the next request it is all cleared.